in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about lookup formula now lookup formula it means by the word itself you can understand that we are looking something we are we are searching something now for example you have a big database and and uh, you want to know about some data like for example but this is what I have in examples APR APR it means that a company which has some listing of the working that these are the employees uh, whose department is this 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 managers this 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 working in a, in a specific roles and their target is to meet or for example there they have a target to get is C set AHT uh, login hours it means that what they are working basically in a call center so they are actually uh, have tasks to do they have if someone wants to query about so before lookup we are just sorting out our data uh, starts from uh, alphabetically A to whatever it is in your database like in my database s sunil is the last name i just want wants to uh, find it out uh, uh, the database for example uh, let's find it out the criteria name of a person c set ht and login hours now for example if someone has approaches to take a holiday and if company wants to know about their actual working means whether they they and whether they are uh, achieving targets or not so Amar basically is uh, once a leave once once a holiday once a time off so and as a business person we won't let our uh, employee to to go to the leave unless they are achieving the target so let's find it out whether our employee actually achieved the target or not they have actually uh, reached uh, into that meet their target or not so for example they're talking about CSAT for example let's find it out so equal to lookup this is what the formula is lookup and then uh, when you click on a lookup uh, you have get the formula ideology the concepts lookup value uh, lookup value to whom we are searching for it's Amar and uh, then the database it's a lookup vector we are going to find out so uh, let's find it out to copy the entire database and then the particular CSA value this is what the result vector it is the particular CSA value equal hit enter and since it's saying 0 0.7 0 0.7 we have to convert that into the percentage to find it out uh, the percentage because we are actually counting a C set in a percentage label that this is the percentage employee would get in a day and uh, to finish up their target now for example AHD average handling time uh, to how many seconds the person is handling the call is it more than that is it below in our target so again we are searching for more the database we have selected and edge to uh, database 2 uh, then bracket close hit enter you can see that this guy is having 375 HT login hours again same it it will get some changes out there because we are using login hour in a in an hour's time but here in a database uh, in seconds time you will get that uh, 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 database so that's why I'm not able to provide the correct details because we have to set uh, we have to calculate basically uh, uh, from seconds to hours so that's why it's showing some point three two two nine so it's 
seconds and all that so that's why we are we are just as of now leaving for the long in hours we just need to calculate we just need to find it out and even if we find it becomes zero so because the log in hours we are not calculated log in hours uh, the way it should be so that is required so basically as of now we are just uh, uh, finding out uh, working on C set in HT in a dark database and we're just leaving login errors as of now so for example this is what the armor is and you can find it out the 70 percent is the C set score we just need to uh, find out our uh, armor so I just got it F9 you can see that uh, we have got it correctly Summer do have 70% seaside and HT 375. So he's not uh, not up to the target. Uh, same if we selected uh, just uh, the another employee of us, then we start reflecting the correct seaside and HT value again. I select him, so it's like that. So basically, we just just created a form out there in the cell we have applied the formula so any employee you wants to know about you can very much even the sheet 2 you can create uh, so let's find it out in sheet 2 in sheet 1 we have a database in sheet 2 we want to find it about the stats of our employee you can very much do that so let's uh, find it out how to do that because because a little bit change will require a little bit as I said that we we are basically uh, finding out from the formula itself so we just need a little bit uh, uh, here a little bit formula would be changed like if I said I want to know about more loy so a sheet one go to sheet one so to more loy we are finding about so here we begin to find about lookup equals to a lookup then uh, to whom uh, we want to know about Molloy then the entire value value will be find it out from and so I'm just selecting the entire database copy that now here uh, in the database you can see there it's showing sheet 2 database is selected but showing in sheet 2 we need to change it to sheet 1 because the database feed it out in sheet 1 not in sheet 2 so that's why this change is required even same way we will find out a C set we need to select the entire C set out there let's find out a uh, uh, C set from sheet 1 again the same thing we need to change sheet 1 because the database is feed it down on sheet 1 if you let it be sheet 2 you won't get anything because sheet 2 is completely blank now click on it and you can find out that uh, the person is 65 percentage similarly we will find about the HT as well so equals to lookup then Molloy, we are finding about Molloy. The entire volume needs to uh, copy the entire thing. Again, here you need to change it about sheet 2 to sheet 1 because the database is in sheet 1. If it the sh if the database is in sheet 3, then you have to write sheet 3. Database is in sheet 4, then you have to write the sheet 4 wherever the database is you need to find it uh, you have to write the that value itself so there's sheet one bracket close hit enter HD it's showing 210 let me find out about Moloi 65 and 210 so percentage of C set of formula is very less but HD is uh, maintained uh, similarly the anchor have the uh, maintain CST and uh, HT so 
he can apply for the holiday rest of the employees who are in the july can't apply for that now for example uh, there is another uh, formula of lookup there's two formula so this is one lookup value array and the other one was vector array vector array so in the vector in if you find the vector uh, you need multiple database otherwise in array the normal array it needs a very specific database so what we just need to do is i'm deleting this department thing i'm deleting the manager thing i'm deleting this uh, uh, C sets core and deleting the login hours as well because what happens that uh, in vector it is okay that you have multiple schemes and you're finding out the data from the multiple schemes but if for example from each you, you are you're uh, finding for the array only a simple array in that case you require only one database and that is whatever for example if i say in this chart is ht only so i'm selecting i'm finding about the colleague i'm copying the entire database just hit, hit enter and saying that ht of colleague is 300 so that is array is all about so hope you learned something about uh, lookup formula how to use it and how to find it at the database via lookup formula thanks for watching